doing? Oh, hey, I'm so glad you showed up. Whenever I put out invitations to come to the house, I'm never sure who will show up at the door, but I'm so glad you did. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a little tour of our home on consignment items that I found in 2019. I did it for 2018, and I thought I would share again some of the latest finds, and I've got another whole year ahead of me to keep shopping, so I'm sure I'll be doing another video throughout the year. We have a lot of rooms here in the house that I'll be decorating, and I hope you get inspired and get some ideas from some of these great thrift store, consignment store finds that I came up with. If you have any questions, just ask below. If you want me to uh, talk about other topics, put that below. And if you haven't already, I would love you to subscribe because I love making these YouTube videos. I love making YouTube tutorials. And if I know what you're looking for, I can work on them. Now that said, if you've already subscribed but you didn't hit the bell to notify you when new videos are uploaded, go ahead, tap that bell because you might miss out on what you are waiting for or what you are looking for. If you like the video, giving me a thumbs up will also help me in YouTube's eyes. They will share my video with more people and that way it will inspire me to create more videos. So once again, thank you for coming by and thank you for accepting my invite to come to this consignment store tour and enjoy. While the sun is out, I thought I would do a quick home tour of some of the consignment items I've purchased since the last consignment home tour video that I have. Um, so let's start here in the kitchen. One thing I do get questions of when I post photos is my basket and what is in the basket. Right now it's just some fruit and veggies. Um, but I found this at Savers and I believe it was $4.99. I knew right away it was going to work well on the counter here. Another item that I get a lot of comments on, actually it's four items, and that would be the counter stools. I saw these at a consignment shop. I actually fell in love with them. Went home because I was envisioning that they were bar height stools. I don't know what I was thinking. And then I got home, I'm like, no, silly, those were counter height. So I called them, gave them my credit card without even going back and looking at them twice. I knew they'd be perfect. And I bought these before I even had the kitchen designed out. So I kind of built this island partially around the chairs. And what I loved about them is the arms. And I was doing an English country feeling here in the home or I am doing an English country feeling, and I thought they were perfect. They're also swivel, so they're easy to get in and out of. The color oak is nice and rich, and I did a little research, because people kept asking where they could get them. I did find the company that imported them from England here in the States. Unfortunately, they're not either being made or imported anymore. I did speak specifically to them about these chairs. Um, but these chairs that I got for 45 a piece were, I think, 987 a piece. Now, I have worked with clients that they would absolutely purchase these at that price. They liked them, they would buy them. Me? No, not so much. At $45, I couldn't snag them up fast enough. So we just push that in here. Uh, let's see, another item here in our kitchen is Good Queen Bess. I have seen her a few times in a consignment store and I didn't know where I would put her. And when I finished designing the kitchen and I created this large wall on a drawing to hide just a couple small pipes because there was only a, you know one wall in this whole kitchen that could have large art. I thought she would be great. So luckily she was there when I went back. The price was even dropped further. I think I finally got her for $125. It is hand painted. I don't know who painted it. It's not an antique, of course, but there's no signature on it. So I don't know if somebody was just doing it as a hobby and then consigned it, no idea. All I know is I like it and I like the colors in it. Okay, on my bookshelves, 
love cookbooks. I found these cookbooks at Savers for Ina Garten. Her recipes, I have not failed with one of them yet. I mean, they're so easy to follow. So I, I got those. Can't say I'm loving the bright colors on the shelf, but that's okay, they work. And a few other my books too. The In Cookbook, New England, and also New England Recipes. Those are also consignment. I think these items were in the last video. Up top there is a pewter set from Williamsburg. And this brass lantern was actually from a um, auction from Martha Stewart's uh, prop department. So that was used maybe in a magazine or in the background of a photo shoot or in one of her TV shows, no idea. Let's open up the cabinets here. I'm gonna say everything in this cabinet is consignment and I still have some things that need to be moved around but um, I found these glasses at Savers. They were $2. I love them, they're nice and heavy, and I just like drinking water out of those, or, you know, just, it's just a nice pretty touch to have something enjoyable to drink out of. And then I have these press glasses here. I found coffee mugs from Williams Sonoma. Let me see. Oh gosh, I have six here, and I think it was six for six dollars at Savers. And as you can see, I have all white and ironstone here, and I'm just going to quickly turn around to this drawer, and I'll come back to it afterwards. And I have all white here, but I'll tell you about this drawer in a minute. Um, I have this little picture that I picked up for a dollar, and it's from England, this, and this little coffee teapot. I picked it up at a store that specializes in items from hotels. This was from Rose Wharf Restaurant, made by Tiffany and Company. So I like pulling this out sometimes and just putting my coffee in it and pouring a little bit of of my coffee or tea from that and just envisioning that this was poured many more times before that in Boston. These little drinking glasses. I really love using these. I picked those up at Savers also. One or two dollars each. I have two of them. And you may have seen that I have them in some of my cooking videos. I keep them off to the side when I'm cooking just for my eggnog or a glass of water little little pitcher and sugar here i've used them for cream i've used them for maple syrup those were 25 cents each at a church bazaar i went to with a girlfriend we were looking just for some fun things and down here i have a um, juicer and what i like about this one is the little nubs here it actually helped to deseed my lemons whereas i have another vintage one it doesn't have that a lot of this dishware is in my last video, so I won't go over that again, but I will have a little card above that you can pop through and see that. And another ironstone piece here. The top is probably on the top shelf. I have a very close match mate in the other room. I'll show you that later. I found those at two separate stores. So over here in one of my drawers, I'm gonna show you these because I don't know what they are. I, I got them for, I think a dollar for all of them, maybe for little cakes, but they have um, the symbols as if it's for cards. I feel like I'm playing a, a nutshell game. And then also these. So they were in a package for a dollar. And I've already used them for serving nuts and little things like that. Oops. And I also found this at a consignment store for sifting my flour. It's brand new. It looks little Pyrex dishes. You may see it on my videos. I have them out all the time I when I put out my ingredients before I start cooking. So I like to have those. Those I found also at thrift stores. Here and there, I just keep picking them up. 
All right, and over in the drawer again, I like to have um, white plates. And that was a plan for this house particularly because the last house I didn't have these. But when I go to restaurants and a lot of the, the resorts that we go to, I just really appreciate the white. And I picked up, I have these crate and barrel um, saucers and cups that I, I liked. And this is a different brand, Culinary Arts. But I have the two sets, and I've picked up a few of other Corel pieces when I'm out and about at Savers, but I did buy most of them new. And then I know I found these shallow bowls at Savers for a dollar. So I just keep adding, because with white plates I can accessorize and add all kinds of other colors. These little candle sconces. I saw these, had to have them. You know, and I'm sure somebody can sign them because they had the same situation I have. The way that the candle sits on here is not straight. And I've tried to bend it. So it, one, it does burn uneven. And two, um, candles, it's hard to see. Candles don't sit in here safely. I'm gonna get almost like um, the candle wax or something to keep it there. I forget what it's called. It's like earthquake putty or something like that. So um, I do not like these when I'm having a party because they could easily be knocked out. Okay, here's the story of this little room here. Um, this used to be a solid wall, which can be seen in the kitchen tour video. Oh, and let me say, I'm gonna do another kitchen video soon about all the products that I used with the vendor names. I'm getting so many requests for that, so that will be coming up but we knocked through this wall and we're gonna be making a butler's pantry slash tavern. And when I took a shot or a video of this the other day, people kept asking about the shelf with the alcohol on it. It's just a black shelf that I had in my previous home, in my home office. I had a bank of three of them. Then we used it in our pantry when we moved here and then in the dining room when it was a temporary kitchen. So. Really, it's, all it's doing is holding uh, some of our alcohol, wine, and then some of our glassware. I have so much glassware, guys. It's everywhere. And that's why I want to have this butler's pantry um, with two walls of storage. Let's see. Up top here, I have some wine coolers, champagne coolers. Uh, the one on the end is a Waterford, it looks, I think it's a leather handle, I'm not sure. And then um, I got the, the uh, wine cooler in the middle recently because I thought it was an exact match for the one next to it, but they're a little different. Um, my hopes were to put little trees in them to have out for the holidays, which would still work. If they, you know, when they're not right next to each other, that will still work, no problem. And the um, paper white containers. I got this bowl for $4.99. It is an iron stone. I found that at Savers and I also found this pewter bowl at Savers. I don't remember the price of that. It was purchased at a separate time. And let's see. These are in the previous video also. Just some pewter items that I found. They will find a permanent home once the tavern is done. And then the lighting fixture in here. This was um, a $45 find at a consignment store. It was red and the, the metal was all rusted. So I cleaned it up and spray painted it black. And I like how it came out. So that was um, something here I decided to put in this room because if we didn't use it as a butler's pantry you know we were going to put a table here and maybe our two chairs that are now currently here but I wanted to set the house up so if somebody wanted a dining space here for their kitchen or in here they could all right I didn't clean up the dining room yet and I cleaned up for this video I mean don't get me wrong I did do some cleaning here um, Let's see. So, one of my favorite finds recently are these two lanterns. They are exterior lanterns that um, I had to clean up. There was house paint all over them, 
but I think the pair was, oh gosh, it was 28 or 38. I, and I'd have to look on a, on a past Instagram post. But as soon as I saw them, I grabbed them so fast because I've been going a year and a half without anything here. I knew what I wanted and I couldn't believe I found them. So guys, you don't have to have interior lighting fixtures if you find something you like. These might not be for everybody, I get it. But this fireplace screen, this was my epic fail. It was too short and I either wanted one that would fit inside or the whole, the whole opening. I wasn't looking and going out for this, so I didn't have measurements with me. So this is unfortunately a $40 fail. It's gonna do the purpose for this season, but it's definitely not a keeper. You'll probably see it at a yard sale or at another consignment store at one point. And I'm gonna head back over here to this container. This is not a consignment find, but I have been searching for a large bottle to fill our cork collection. And I finally came across it at TJ Maxx. It was in the wrapping paper aisle of all places. So thank you to the person who was gonna buy it and took it out of their cart and put it in the wrong spot because I found it. And it has just the right size opening for the corks. It's really heavy glass. A lot I find are really thin and I knew they'd break. And I love the coloring because the coloring works well. I don't wanna to spin too fast to make you dizzy. The coloring really works well with the ship print, which you may have seen in a previous video. I bought for $85. You can't even get this frame for $85. And not a consignment, but for Christmas, my mother gave me the Smith sign that was hanging off of a lamppost at my childhood home that my dad made. So I, I love having that. And I temporarily hung it on a wire from the whale print or the whale painting. Don't know if he's found a home or not. This wall might be all old wooden signs. I, this, this wall eludes me. I, you know, I just feel like there used to be a window here and nothing's working right. So that will be another day, another thought. And from the last video on consignment finds, some of you may remember this $25 tall case clock find I got. I need to polish it up a bit. I was actually thinking of using it in the kitchen, in the corner space. Let me just turn slowly so I don't make you sick. I was going to put it down in that far corner but I'm still not sure. I did find, actually, one of my girlfriends, we were out shopping and she found this and said, wouldn't that be cute for a cupcake? And I feel really bad. I actually grabbed it and bought it, it was a quarter, and then I didn't realize that maybe she wanted to buy it for a quarter. Sorry, Bev. It's one of the other ironstone pieces with its top. I have to find the top to the other one. It's probably on the top shelf in the kitchen. And just a few things here. This dining room is going to be part of the video of what I have planned because it's very empty and echoing right now, but that will be done at a later time. Just a quick peek. This is a room I'll be working on, um, but right now I have some things pulled together. I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing video. These are items that we're purchasing for our home. I've got some of my wallpaper books I'm going through. And here's the room I'm working on right now. I've been playing with my new nail gun and I ran out of wood. I need six more pieces to finish my woodwork there. But another day, another day. Uh, let's see here. It's kind of dark in the hall. Don't think there's anything different here. And all the, those sconces are from consignment. The large pedestal here, I did buy at a consignment store. It had a pumpkin on it, which I did purchase. And that's in some of my, my fall photo shoots in, for Instagram. And I just put a, a nest in there right now. Things in this room are on my last video. 
So I will once again link that um, somewhere here in the video. I guess Willow wants us to go upstairs now. All right, let's walk into the bedroom. This will be on another video. This used to be um, part of an apartment and the bath I'm going to show you in a minute used to be the kitchen. Part of this was a space that a tenant had a queen size mattress on the floor and that's about all it would fit. So when we bought the house, we are converting it to a single family. But I do have a couple things in here that are consignment and then we'll come back to this room when I start decorating it. This star over here is, is an item I purchased. I used it in the, one of the Christmas house tour videos for a house in Concord that I decorated for the holidays. This barley twist bed is a consignment store find. The brand is Baker. There is a large top, but I couldn't fit it in the truck when I purchased it, and I'm hoping it's still at the consignment shop. I still don't think we'll be able to fit it, but it might be nice to have it at least in storage if you know we want to move this at some point or to resell it, who knows. But um, I did ask my husband to cut the top finials off because it wouldn't fit. And I am looking for something to put on the top of these. Um, when we went to a place called Twin Farms in Vermont, we stayed in a room that had the barley twist bed and at the top they had wooden birds. I'm gonna see if I can find a picture. So I'm on the hunt for something that will go on the top. I have tried finials from window treatments. I have tried finials from fencing. I found some acorns the other day that I might try. So when I see it, I know it, I'll buy it. So then I'll be able to finish that off. Um, another thing I wanted to show you consignment wise are my pillow shams. I found these at once again at a store that sells the hotel equipment and these are from the Langham in Boston and I just loved the satin threading there and uh, washed them up and they're beautiful. I, I bought a couple sets. This is another fine TJ Maxx. I was looking for some bedding and this has the cutest bee embroidery on the top sheet and on the end of each pillowcase and I didn't realize until yesterday that these have to be a left and right pillow because I had upside down bees so I swapped them out because I'm that OCD. But I love these sheets. What was once a kitchen is now our master bathroom suite and I designed this fully knowing I wanted to have a spa-like, luxury hotel-like space. So when I found these light fixtures at a consignment store, I grabbed them. And I did not know until after I purchased them, they were from the Four Seasons remodel. Um, I'm definitely gonna get some more shades because these cast a little more yellow than I want to. I've already tried to change it to a cooler bulb and it's just not working, so. I will change those out at one point. But these two little rabbits, I love those guys. And this blue on the wall was a temporary uh, fix because I was doing a photo shoot for the companies that I am collaborated with and I wanted to have the walls painted and I found this can of paint for $10 on the oops aisle. It's a Benjamin Moore color. Okay, now I'm gonna head back out to another room in the front and I have quite a few other rooms that I'm not showing you today just because either they're completely messy or um, they're private spaces like my husband's office and my stepdaughter's room. But this is a room that we used as our master bedroom for a year and a half. I found this poster bed last month for $99 and I didn't even second guess it. I mean, I, I took out my checkbook so fast and it's perfect in here. It has some really pretty detail with the wheat. This room I will be doing over, I think kind of like a Ralph Lauren slash hunt theme room. Not quite sure yet. Over here is another piece of art that I purchased at the hotel supply store. 
this was in, oh my goodness, it was either the Langham or the Taj, and it has Boston and Bunker Hill on it, and I really liked the colors of the muted greens and muted browns. Everything here is gonna be moving. Um, the art, I'm gonna be looking for something that's vertical in shape to go in the space. That may go over the fireplace, but I did have that mirror that's on the floor of the fireplace, and I really liked how it reflected the view from outside. So once again, this room will be on that to finish list, including finding out if I hang these sconces somewhere, which were also from the previous video. And we'll get up new window treatments. Just have to find the fabric. And someday I will take you into the attic. There are two finished rooms and a little tiny hallway in between that used to be the servants' quarters. Um, they are unheated, but right now it is a mess up there with things that we just threw up from when we moved and unorganized items from holidays. So I'm looking forward to getting up there on some rainy day. So I hope you enjoy the tour. If you have any questions, ask below. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. If you wanna get notified of when I post new videos, just tap that bell and you'll get an email. And if you want to give me a thumbs up, that helps also, because then that will let YouTube know that this tour was liked by you. And if you have some other videos you'd like me to share or create, comment below. I'm always reading the comments and looking at them, and I really want to share videos on YouTube that are good tutorials or how-tos or inspirational. So let me know, okay? Right, Willow? <laughs> and you didn't tap the bell that's in, I forget which corner, you'll have to look for that. You gotta, thank you, Willow. All right, let's head upstairs. So one thing I think is kind of neat actually is I put this mirror here the other day just to, you know, get it out of the way. And it made me realize that there had to have been a window here. It just looked right. And then I looked here in our bedroom. There are two smaller windows right in the same eave. And then when I look at old drawings, outside this area was just a roof to a porch, a lot lower. So I'm pretty sure there was a window here, which I guess you didn't need to know that. I just think it's kind of cool. <laughs> 